Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 2024 version of the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 18 G834. To open this laptop monstrosity, you have to undo 11 Phillips head screws. You can start from the front, prying the panel zone above the LED strap with a thin plastic tool. If the usual sliding and pushing inwards doesn't work for you, insert the tool in between the base and the panel and start popping the plate step by step by lifting it slightly upwards. Do the same for the sides where the LED strap is. To safely pry the rest of the sides, use two plastic tools. Lift the zone close to the end of the LED band to create a gap and start prying from there with the other tool. Fully pop the sides and the back. On the inside of the bottom plate, there are many plastic elements for greater internal structural support, as well as dust filters for the three fans. The machine has a 90 watt hour battery. Unfortunately, the connector is placed below the lower fan, and you have to undo two Phillips head screws to remove it. Wear gloves to avoid short circuits. Now we can see that the chipset is covered with some foil. With that out of the way, undo the four Phillips head screws that fix the battery to the chassis and lift the unit away from the base. The capacity is enough for around 5 hours and 40 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the Silent Preset in the Armory Crate app and apply the Best Power Efficiency Preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. The Panel Self-Refresh option is turned on in the Intel Graphics Command Center. The SSD slot on the left and the memory zone are covered with foil. According to Asus, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. By the way, the memory here isn't additionally cooled with thermal pads, which is a bit strange given the end price of the laptop. 
For storage, you get two M.2 slots for Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 is also supported. Once again, this is another Asus laptop with a Wi-Fi card placed in front of an NVMe slot. When an SSD is installed, it'll almost fully cover the Wi-Fi card, which can potentially lead to connection problems. We can spot a small thermal pad below the pre-installed NVMe. This should be one of the tiniest pads for an SSD that we've seen in a gaming notebook of this caliber. The cooling is enormous. It features three fans, two of them are normally placed while the third one is above the chipset. Three heat pipes are shared between the CPU and the GPU, and there is one more for each chip. The small U-shaped pipe is positioned on the metal plate above the GPU, and it also cools the VRMs and the memory chips. Two of the heat sinks are on the sides of the fans, while the other three are top-mounted, and the one in the middle is very large. The smaller seventh heat pipe connects the metal plate and the heat spreader for the GPU. The graphics card and the processor are treated with liquid metal.